Disorient versus Kakuchin. That's that's one we haven't seen in a while too. It's really cool to have Kakuchin back in the region. Um, you know, having you know Felix has been gone recently too. We haven't really had our really big key players, and for the longest time it seemed like the only people who would ever win anything was Kakuchin and Felix. But now that Kakuchin's back, we're gonna see hopefully some improvement and people are getting better and. Right. <laughs> so Kakajin with a solid lead, doing a good job of spacing out Disorient, um, getting in with those Zares and following up, just kind of trying to keep Disorient out the same way he kept the lockout. Sorry, I'm missing the upper out of his down throw. So welcome on Dare to Dream. Hey. So Kakajin and Disorient going pretty even right now. Okay. Yeah. Kako and Diso. And there's the first stock. Kakajin. Uh, Disorient said it was his goal to play Kakajin uh, twice today. So twice. It's nice to see he could get to winners finals. Oh yeah, because if he loses first oh, time. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. And I mean, if even if he beats Kakajin, Kakajin's probably going to come from back to even losers, too. right? Um, <laughs> It's it's kind of cool to see Kakajin's tomb link because really all we saw before he went to California really was his chic a lot of the time. I miss Kakajin's tomb link. It's so it's cool. It's so good. He, his movement is just so good and just the utilization of his bombs for the spacing and stage. I know. Do you see that Zara really into dash attack conversion? Yeah. That was so clean. Kakajin, I don't know. Maybe his um, uh, maybe Hayuga from Genesis sparked a little bit of uh, tomb link love back into Could Kakajin. Be. Though he's always liked his Toon Link. Oh yeah, he's always thought highly of Toon Link. But uh, if if you ask, maybe would a Toon Link get, you know, top ten and at the biggest Smash Four tournament? You, you might not have said yes. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe. I mean, um, I guess it depends on who was there too. I mean, yeah. Do you think a Toon Link player could beat Nairo? I don't know if you would have said yes. Oh, nice uh, Nair. Yeah. He's just covering all his options. Yeah. Super he, gross. <laughs> I love it. That's um He's like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna cover I'm gonna cover you Hank staying on a legend neutral get up with boomerang. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this bomb up just in the air just in case you try to jump. Yeah. And I'm gonna cover the roll with Nair. Like, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> it was nice, it was really good option coverage. Yeah. Which is which is what Toon Link does. He he does option coverage and then he gets hit confirms off of those zoning moves. Which is pretty great when your uh moves in neutral can also convert into like kill moves and stuff. That's Definitely. always nice. And he's pretty good about the Zer or uh, Zares too. Yeah, his Zare conversions so are really clean. The Zare just seems like it comes Ooh. out like so quick. Um, once he once he lands that bomb on shield, he goes in a little bit because yeah. the bomb can cover his landing. If Zero Suit grabs him, the bomb will explode and break him up before the uh, grab gets in. <laughs> All right. Oh, tried to cover. Uh, Sorry, trying to get a foothold here. Try to get landing in there to start a combo, but uh, Kakajin shielding when he needs to. He seems to be trying to keep um, Disorient kind of Disorient stopping and thinking a little bit. Yeah, likes his. He's trying to right kind of compartmentalize Disorient yeah. and keep him at the ledge and on yeah. that platform. He gets that pivot bomb throw into vulnerable. the forward air. Doesn't quite kill though. He likes to back him into a corner. Diesel, oh, Diesel got a nair, but didn't convert off of it. And the read. Oh, oh. Good. <laughs> back throw. Oh my god. Stop Very Kakuchin. solid. <laughs> that was such a nice read. Jesus. Well, that is our cockatoo. Good, good combo there from Diesel. What's the score? Uh, 
Kakujin won first game. Yeah, I think it's Kakujin up one. Yeah. Ooh, lands with the laser. Not a terrible option. Kako blocks with up tilt, though. Oh, runs in shields. Knocks him away with Nair. All right. This is this is a good spot for Diso. Oh, he could have. He probably could have let go of Legend Bear back aired there, but didn't get There's there. There's a good time. back air right there, though. Yeah. Almost killing, but not quite. Oh, lands the down smash. The conversion. Oh, nope. Very good. And uses the bomb to oh. try and get himself back towards Tries to get another two. ledge jump. Not quite. Catches him with up Kakujin tilt. Kakujin just solid DI. Not just not dying to these moves. Yeah. Kakujin's playing to stay alive right now. All right. And down throw. Choose the, the bomb pull. Ooh. Kind of trying to get Kakujin, Kakujin back playing to patient the side now. of the stage so he can just kind of back him into and, a corner. Yeah. Good that's, up air. That's pretty much guaranteed at that percent. But, I mean, it's 140. Yeah. Throwing him. Oh, knocks him away. Setting up his uh, zoning now. Kind of keeping him on that platform. Mm. The full hop, double jump uh, arrow. That's a pretty interesting mix up. He's got him on that platform, and it kind of keeps him vulnerable. And it's I, a really good um, strategy. Well, I, I think, like, I think like, this Disorient like is like running away the to the platform, platform to be honest. Maybe. Yeah, you, you see him standing up there uh, trying to perfect shield his projectiles. He's comfortable. All right, let's see what kind of punish we get. Oh, bomb to Nair. Looking for a follow-up. Covers his landing with forward air, which Nair, is smart. Boomerang bomb and... Good oh. reach on this air. Uh, looks like he tried to re-catch his bomb there. Didn't quite get it. All right. Oh, oh that was Disa's there. chance. That was it. Yep. And the That's forward air will kill. Diesel it's finally got the grab. Diesel finally got the grab he wanted, but just didn't convert. Uh, Cockerjins choosing an up air. There was a really good defensive option. Uh, that hitbox stays out DI forever. Out of those down too. Yeah. Well, Cockerjins' DI is always on yeah. point. There's a reason he's the best here. And then uh, game three. Running it back. Uh, I know Disorient really likes the stage for Zero Suit. So yeah, we're running back to Smashville and up tilt combos for days. Up smash, boomerang. I'm liking how Kakujin's staying inside uh, Disorient. Yeah. Pressuring him. Like what he'll do is he'll run away. Like he's gonna choose the zoning option with the boomerang, and then he'll B reverse it so he stays inside. It's, it's really good. He's mixing up his, the spacing so Disorient can't get comfortable. Yeah. It's really nice. He just seems. He just seems so comfortable with Toon Link. Like he just throws it. Like, he yeah. does all this just so very casually. It's fluid. It's, yeah. Sorian trying to get a poke with some Zare. Seems to mix up a strategy a little bit. Ooh. Ah, forward tilt the wrong direction. Oh, that's pretty good platform pressure. All right. Oh, well, trying to get a poke with his Zares and Nairs again, trying to convert into something. Ooh, misreads just a little bit. He was a little too far away to go for the pivot grab. I think if he would have done standing grab, he would have gotten it. Oh. Ooh. Covering him with the Cat bombs really well. Yeah. Oh, into forward air. Capturing the flip with the bomb, yeah. Dash attack. Oh, waits for it. Um, forward air, Disorient air, a really good option air. there. Oh, oh. you know, I think he could have beer. He was trying to reset the combo maybe. with the falling up air. That makes sense. Just didn't quite get it. It was a pretty good mix-up, but he could have probably just up right there and gotten the stock. Yeah. Thinking a little too much into it. Really nice uh, conversion there. Yeah. From air into back air. It's really smart. Keeping He's, it a little bit more even, but Kakujin building up that damage with those. Yeah, this is a pretty even game right now. It's it's always even when you're playing Zero Suit. <laughs> Ooh. Kako read that he'd stay in shield right there. Good grab. It's not even when you're playing Kakujin, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, Disorient could pull it out. Yeah. I mean, this is where Disorient wants to be right now. Like, he's, he's happy with being, you know, stocks even. He has a little bit of a percentage lead. Diesel knows he can get, you know, a good combo or an air dodge read and yeah. it can be over. They're back to oh, there it goes. Pretty close down to up air, up air. Okay, here it is. Oh, oh no. The up Not quite the time Gatchin to go to it. with his own up B. <laughs> yeah, it was a good punish. It was simple. He, he knew he could get it. Oh, spot up dodges tilt. in it. Up air. I'm waiting for Cactus. Diso really wants another. It just kind of catches Disorient off guard. I think Diso really wants another grab. Ooh, risky dash attack right there, but doesn't get punished. Pretty decent punish right there off a of missing grab. Hmm. This is doing a lot better at uh, putting in some zoning of his own Definitely. to try to to try to get a hit confirm on Kakuten and oh, there it is and that off the boomerang. Is, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, well, you know what? Three L's. Right, I'm gonna go play Blade Wise now. Bye. All right. All right, so we have Dare to Dream versus Blade Wise. We have Mewtwo versus Rosalina. What do you think? Dude, I think Rosalina definitely has the upper hand on this one. She has that.